Okay, so now we're on the on the last the last leg. Um, we've I, we've used the boundary conditions, we've used the initial conditions, and we've ended up with um, the solution or the set of solutions are all of this form here. So it's a sine nx times some coefficient times cos nct, um, and we can work out the cn's by you doing this integral here. Now, how I would normally do this integral, and this is the bit where everybody, the bit everybody doesn't like. But I'm going to, I'm going to do two over pi, um, zero to pi. I'm going to split it up into a bracket there. Uh, I'm going to do um, pi times x sine nx dx, and I'm going to subtract um, zero to pi x squared sine nx dx so I'm splitting it up into two parts and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each of these parts separately but I'm not going to worry about the 2 pi till, till the end so the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the integral 0 to pi and I can take the pi outside uh, x sine nx dx now that is a standard formula and I can go to the I can go to the formula sheet and find it. And if I do, it is um, well the formula sheet tells me it's one over omega squared, which in this case is n. So one over n squared sine n x minus uh, one over omega x cos n x between zero and pi. And remember, I should have a pi in front of all that. So if I put the limits in, I'm going to get, putting in pi, uh, I'll get 1 over n squared sine n pi minus 1 over n pi cos n pi. Uh, and then minus, putting in 0. Uh, sine of 0 is 0, so that will be 0. I'm going to put 0 in there. X is 0. Oh, that's going to be 0 as well. Brilliant. So I end up with, if I do all of that, oh, something else. Sine of n pi. Oops. Tried to change colour there. Didn't work. That's 0. So I've the only bit that I've got left from here is, what's that? That's going to be a minus pi squared over n cos n pi. Okay, kept the problem nice and nice and short. So that that bit there, if I circle it in blue, is going to replace that bit up there, circled in blue. Right now, on to the next bit. So I want the integral which is pi and zero of x squared sine nx dx. What's that going to be? Well, again, standard formula. It's uh, two, uh, sorry, it's two over omega squared, which is n squared, x sine omega x, which is n x, uh, plus two over omega cubed times cos of n x minus uh, x squared over omega. Oops, so omega. That's an n. <laughs> cos nx ok so two causes in the same that's right between 0 and pi now what I'm going to do I'm going to put in the limits so I put in the first limit when I put in my pi I get 2 over n squared pi sine n pi oh I know what that's going to become plus 2 over n cubed cos n pi minus uh, pi squared over n cos n pi. Okay, so that's the first bit. Oops, oh, lost it a little bit. Minus, I put zero in. If I put zero into that first thing, x is zero, so that will give me zero. Put zero into the next bit. Cos of zero is one, so I'm going to get plus two over n cubed. And if I put zero into the last bit, um, x squared 0, so I get 0 from that as well. So I can stop letting me do this very well. I can tidy this up. Uh, I've got my usual 
sine an x goes to zero. That's good, so I get rid of that bit. So what have I got? I've got 2 over n cubed cos n pi and I've got uh, minus pi squared over n cos n pi and from here I've got a minus 2 over n cubed. Okay, so that's a little bit that shouldn't be there. Um, so that's the result for my second integral. So what I need to do is go back up the top, I need to add, subtract the second one from the first one and multiply by 2 over pi. So let's do that. So cn must be 2 over pi uh, minus pi squared over n cos n pi. So that's the bit from there. Then I'm subtracting all of this stuff, so that'll be minus 2 over n cubed cos n pi uh, minus minus, so that'll be a plus pi squared over n cos n pi minus minus, so that'll be a plus plus 2. Uh, 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 uh. Right, looks messy, but look what I've got. Those two things will cancel. Bye bye. Well, that's great. So now what I can write down is. Um, oh, I've got 2n cubed and 2n cubed, so I can bring that outside, I can make that a 4 over n cubed pi. Uh, what do I get from, and if I put that bit first, it'll be 1 minus cos n pi. That's pretty simple. Remembering that cos of n pi goes plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So I could write that as 4 over n cubed pi 1 minus minus 1 to the n or you could split it up into um, what happens when when n is odd when n is odd that would be minus 1 so you'll get 1 minus minus 1 which would be 2 so you'll get 2 times so you get 8 over n cubed pi when n is odd and when n is even minus 1 minus 1 to n will be to the power n would be plus 1, so that would be 0 when n is even. So the only coefficients you get are when um, n is odd. Now what we have to do is, we have to go back to our uh, formula at the top, un x and t equals, so what's it going to be? It's going to be, um, uh, what's that? Got more at the top, it's a sine, isn't it? Sine nx. So I'll put the number first 8 over n cubed pi sine nx cos nct when n is odd or 0 when n is even. So, how can we further simplify that? Well, if we then say let uh, n equals 2m plus 1, and that means that um, we can just let m be 0, 1, 2, 3. And if we put m is 0, 1, 2, 3 into, into this formula, we'll get n is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc, etc, etc. So what we do is we replace all the n's with 2m plus 1, remembering that our full solution is a sum of all of these solutions here. There's lots and lots of them. So we're going to start with m is 0 and go up to wherever. Um, and it will be 8 over n cubed. Well, that's 2m plus 1 cubed times pi. Sine of 2m plus 1 times x. Cos of 2m plus 1 times ct and that I hope is the solution at the top of the page hooray it is all that they've done there is taking the taking the, the factor of 8 over pi outside but we could have done that as well okay hope that's useful